hope everyone had an awesome and safe Christmas and New Year's. And I realize this video is very behind, but I just wanted to film a get ready with me makeup tutorial. So you can see the makeup that I did for New Year's. You can do this look for, for any party event that you've got to go to. Of course, you can adapt the colors to suit whatever you're wearing that day or if, you're go if you've got a particular theme that you're going with. I know a lot of people don't like to do bold lips and bold eyes together, but I like breaking the rules. <laughs> By all means, you can do a nude lip or a whatever color. So let's get started on the tutorial. I'm starting off by prepping my face with a primer. And this one I'm just using a Dr. Lewin's one. And now I'm using the Above and Beyond Color Correcting Concealer in Green from NYX on a brush. And applying that literally everywhere all over my damn face. Because I am pale and have a lot of redness and I am convinced it's bordering on rosacea. <laughs> And I know a lot of makeup artists and beauty enthusiasts are going to cringe at the fact that I'm applying this all over my face, but frankly, my dear, I don't give them. I'm applying that to get rid of all the redness so then when I apply my pasty white foundation, you can't see any redness or any tones whatsoever within reason, obviously. The next colour correcting concealer is probably one of my favourite ones I've come across in Australia at least. Now I'm using the Models Prefer colour correcting palette and I'm using the green which I've absolutely exhausted and I'm putting that under my eyes. The consistency of this one is a lot thinner so I feel it, it's not so heavy under the eyes and doesn't crease so much. And now I'm going in with the Salmon Tone 1 to get rid of any dark mist under my eyes so it's nice and bright. And on the inner part of my eyes near my nose. And now I'm using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer and I'm not sure what colour this one is because it hasn't got a number on the actual bottle. I think they've only got two colours in the range, so it's the lightest one of the two. And I'm there is absolutely no rhyme or reason to my application of this concealer, it's just all over my face. Like the colour correcting, it's just all freaking over it. And with a dry beauty blender, I'm blending it out. Rocket science. Most people will probably stop here if they don't like a very heavy coverage and you're more than welcome to but because I like to have full coverage I will be going in with my foundation and the mixture I use these three foundations well these three products I use the L'Oreal True Match in the 1D slash 1W shade and then I use the Almay Smart shade it's a color correct primer and the Marin Fantasy FX in white. And I mix those two together on this little container from an old powder. And then on a damp beauty blender this time, I'm applying it all over my face, starting from the bottom, working my way up. Making stupid faces as you go. I find the beauty blender being damp helps with the application, and I'm sure a lot of people have come across this as well. Especially with mixing a cream face paint with it, with my foundation, it sometimes 
is harder to blend. If you're just using a either a foundation brush or a dry beauty blender, where when it's damp it just goes on a lot smoother. And it doesn't go patchy. Which is never a good look. making sure everything is flawless and covered. And I'm going over every spot that kind of still shows through all the tones, any redness or didn't quite, quite get covered. Blending in on the neck, of course. This is the point that my camera stopped recording and I didn't notice, but I started setting my foundation just with a colour correcting powder and then going over with a white powder from Essence. Um, and the white powder is just a, um, it's a setting powder, but it makes my skin look paler, which I like. And now I'm doing the contouring and again, my the camera turned off and I didn't notice. So you've caught the end part. Now I'm using a blush that I got from Daiso, which is I think the number two, and it's just lighter pinks. And I'm going in on the apples of my cheeks and top of my cheekbones and kind of blending it up towards my eye. So it's kind of a Lolita, a Lolita style application for blush, but just very lightly. I only want a slight tint to the cheeks. And now the blush is done, I'm going to use my Essence Bloom Me Up Highlighter, which is from Priceline, and it's the same brand that I used to set my, set my foundation, and I'm just going above on the cheekbones, and pretty well all over my face again. I don't mind this highlighter, it's obviously not the best one that's out there, but considering it's, you know, only four or five dollars, I have no problems with it really. Now I'm using a Savvy Jumbo Eye Pencil eyeshadow stick and I'm using that as a base for the eyeshadow just so it's got something to adhere to but if you have a primer that you love and you know works for you then by all means use that. This is just the one that I have. My eye is really really irritated so the makeup's not sticking. Now I'm using my Sugar Pill Sweetheart palette and the colour we're going to use is Dolly Pop. And on just a fluffy brush, this one is just by Models Prefer, and you're applying that pretty well all over your lid and extending it out in a wing. And just keep packing it on and applying it. Video kind of speaks for itself, really. Just make sure you blend it all out so there's no harsh lines. I'm continuing it down under my eye and I'm not going along the waterline, I'm kind of going underneath the eye bag bit because above that I'm going to put another colour which you'll see later on and just blending that down and of course you can either make it as dramatic or as subtle as you want I probably would have gone more dramatic if I had the time but I was very short of it. I'm just blending out that wing so it's a lot more dramatic, kind of almost has a drag queen feel. And I'm taking my beloved Coastal Scents palette, gifted to me by my bestie, and we're using these three colours 
first starting off with this pinky purple colour, I'm going to apply that on the outer corner, or the outer V as a lot call it. And just keep applying and building that colour to build intensity and depth. And doing the same on the inner corner. And you can blend it as much or as little as you like. I kind of focus it on that in a bit. And then doing the same under the eye, pretty much just going over the dolly pop that we applied to give and I kind of extend it towards my nose a bit so it mirrors that other wing. Makes it a lot more dramatic, I feel. And now I'm going over that same area with the darker purple bit, just to give it more definition. It's all about layers. Make sure you blend them all together as well. Now I'm using that that navy blue colour to kind of create a blended out wing and extending that up to the brow bone and underneath. And on the inner corner as well. The inner corner one I'm not blending it out so much because I want it to be a lot more have a sort of recessed feel. So I just wanted it focused on that bit and I kind of blend it up in a straight line as well to where my eyebrows are going to be. Just dabbing in a bit of black quickly, blending it all in a bit. And now I'm using a um, Real Techniques shading brush and I'm using the MAC Shimmer Moss which, a little disclaimer with this, I actually bought a whole bunch of these off eBay and this was in the beginning, the very 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 beginning, many years ago when I first started to get into makeup and I had absolutely no clue what I was doing. So I just bought these and I've had them, I've used some of them, not all of them and I don't have any problems with them. And that concoction that I just showed you is actually a homemade applicator, applicator activator. And I'm just using a uh, Urban Decay brush that I'm using that and applying the applicator, just dabbing it on where I'm going to apply the eyeshadow. And then I'm taking the same eyeshadow and applying it and just packing it on in the center as a kind of highlight. And you don't have to be precise with this. You, If you want, you can blend it out a lot more, but I'm just applying it in a kind of watercolor oil paint technique. So it's kind of messy and galactic feeling. And I made a boo boo, cleaning it up. And just on that, with that dry brush again, and some of the pigment, I'm just blending it out so it doesn't look so harsh. And I'm taking that underneath the eye and just keep packing on so you can get more intensity and bringing it upwards blending. So that's the eyeshadow part. And now I'm going in with the models prefer Teal Maybe eyeliner. And that's a long wearing one and I'm just I'm just doing my waterline with that and kind of blending it in with the eyeshadow. And I'm using my Physicians Formula Ultra Black Liquid Pen Liner. This one's probably one of my favorite ones that I've come across in Australia so far. I have used the Kat Von D one and I really like that, but I didn't find that it lasted as long as this um, as this Physicians Formula one does. Which is a shame because I really love Kat Von D stuff. And I'm just doing a dramatic wing on following the eyeshadow wing and then bringing it down on the inner corner. Now I'm just tight lining my top lashes so that there is no gaps. And I did my other eye and put my lashes on off camera. So the lashes that I'm using are the Katy Perry Colourpop Lashes by Eyelore. And on my bottom lashes I actually just applied a face and body paint in fluoro green. And it kind of reminds me of galaxy opal type thing. I really like it. Now I'm using that same teal eyeliner to do my eyebrows. I figured I'd just do a simple short spock brow for today 
considering my eye makeup was more the focus. I was feeling the pressure of, <laughs> of doing this makeup tutorial, get ready with me, so my brows were very subpar today. I'm normally quite good with getting them to match, but I had a permanent quizzical brow, it seems. I'm just continuing to fix them up and fill them in and then I'll fix it up with a concealer. So with my Coastal Scents I'm just using a very light blue eyeshadow which I didn't show you on a accent brush from Real Techniques and just blending that inner parts so it's not such a harsh line. Completely stuffed up those brows today. Not on the ball. So now I'm just fixing them up with leftover foundation that I had and I used my colour correcting palette from Models Prefer to kind of cover up that blue tone. So I'm just using the salmon over that, you know, colour theory and all that. And then I'm setting it with some powder and then I just go over it again with a bit of the pencil just to redefine that outer tip. And then I'm using that navy blue eyeshadow that we used on our eyes just to give it a gradient effect. And just starting on the outside, working my way in. Again, rocket surgery here. Blending is the secret. And that's the eyebrows, done! So that's the eye part of the look. I'm very very sad because my eye is still very irritated and was watering and the makeup would not stick at all. So now we're going in with the velour lips in Melbourne. I tried to show you that but obviously you can I see. I usually use a lip liner first. I'm not sure why I completely skipped that step but I'm just going straight in with the velour lips. <laughs> Which is fine but it's a bit messy. I shall fix it up afterwards. My lips look very horrible and dry, so I apologise for that. Just messily applying that. I keep looking over because the camera would stop recording without me knowing. Now I'm just fixing those outer edges up a bit just so it's a bit neater, more defined. And blending it out so there's no harsh foundation line. Setting it, of course. And now I decided to go in with my black lip liner, which is from NYX, and it's the NPL19 in black lips. And this is my favorite black lip liner that I've come across, and I really like it, and that is that. I'm using an eyelash glue that I got from Daiso and just gluing some a couple of gems on. If I had more time, I would have gone all out with the gems, but time was of the essence. And that is my makeup look. I, you can customize it however you like, change the colors, blend it, what not. But that is what I did for my New Year's. And then I topped it off with a flower crown that I got from Sports Girl on sale. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed my first attempt at a makeup tutorial slash get ready with me for New Year's. Bye.